Hello, this is Sam McGuire from the Video Editor's Guide to Soundtrack Pro. We're going to look at one of the really great features of Soundtrack Pro in this one. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the different gesturing tools you can use with the trackpad on a MacBook Pro that really works well with Soundtrack Pro and how you can control it and some of the things you can do with it. So we're going to jump right in and talk about that. But first, let's look at some of the system preferences that are going to help us. So we can go to trackpad, and here you're going to see all these different options. We're going to be talking about each of these. We have the tap to click, which is pretty cool. The ability to drag. So you can see there's an initial short tap and then a hold, and it allows it to lock it in place with the drag lock right here. Then we also have some of the two finger moves, which we're going to use as well as some of the three finger moves. Now be aware that we also have four fingers, which are really for expose and to switch applications. So let's look at some of the things we can do with these inside Soundtrack Pro. Right off the bat, let's use two fingers to move around. See how easy that is to move around your whole session however you want. So two fingers is really nice. Of course, one finger just moves the mouse. So Another thing to note is that for most of these moves, you have to be over this area in the center pane because if you're over here and you do some of those moves, it's going to do other things, but not necessarily moving around. So the two finger here doesn't do anything unless there's something there to, to scroll. I have a video clip loaded, nothing super fancy, and I've got a heartbeat file loaded here. So really, other than that, it's just a standard default session. And a number of things we can do. One of the things we can do really easily is navigate through our session a little bit. We can use the drag to zoom. Now, I tend to use two fingers for this. I know that they often show this with just the thumb and a finger. And I find that going back in quite often is a little bit more tricky. And I get much finer control when I use the two fingers. So just keep in mind that you can pick whichever way you want to do that. We can also do the rotate move to let us really very much more accurately scrub on sound. Of course, once you find the place you want, you can just simply, if the file is selected, choose S on the keyboard and it will split that. So those two things right there are pretty cool. Another thing that's really handy is because of the way we have all these different panes on your session, we can actually use a three finger move to pull up the bottom pane or close it and also do a horizontal to close the right side. Now that can actually be switched in preferences right here. So the horizontal could either do the left or the right pane. I typically have to do the right pane because the left pane is going to have all my actions in it. I like to leave those out. So again, we can come down, close that, or open it back up in the bottom as well. Now another really cool thing I want to show you is the tap to drag with the lock feature enabled. And what you can do with that is simply, because what you can normally do is click and hold on a file and move it back and forth. You see the video adjust. We can also engage the multi-point video, and that'll show us exactly where I've got click, the left edge of the frame of the file I'm holding and the right edge and the right side, which is black because there's nothing there. But I've got to hold the mouse the entire time, which is kind of a pain because if I let go, it all disappears. So what you can do is a single tap and then another tap, but hold it the second time. And it'll actually lock that in now because I've got locking enabled. And now I can use a single finger and drag this around and it stays locked and dragged engage the multi-point and it's much easier now to, to do this where you drag it around when you get the place you like nudge a little bit if we want tap one more time and it releases it and now we've got placement for that file just where we want it so very easy to do a little bit more navigation or editing with this quite handy right off the bat let's use two fingers to move around See how easy that is to move around your whole session however you want. So two fingers is really nice. Of course, one finger just moves the mouse. So another thing to note is that for most of these moves, you have to be over this area in the center pane 
because if you're over here and you do some of those moves, it's going to do other things, but not necessarily moving around. So the two finger here doesn't do anything unless there's something there to, to scroll. Okay, so that's how gestures can really make a difference in your workflow process inside Soundtrack Pro. Hope you enjoy this. Check out our book. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact either Dave or I through Focal Press.